seeing these young children on MTV and other news. Parliament resumed plenary sittings after a two-week adjournment. Top on the order of business was the government response to save children suffering from nodding syndrome in northern Uganda. Two weeks ago, Deputy Speaker Jacob Olanya summoned an expert, Gulu University Don Dr. Gitara Lagoro, who has extensively researched on nodding syndrome, to the House. He told MPs that 1.2 billion shillings would adequately cater for nodding syndrome centers in the most affected areas in Omoro and Kitgum districts for a year. In Tuesday's parliament session, Finance Minister Matia Kasaija and State for Planning David Bahati did not read from the same script on the availability of funds. We came up with a budget which the Ministry of Health submitted of 1.3 to the Ministry of Finance and it's being processed. I have the money. My problem is now the procedure how to put the money to her. Leave that alone. No, 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 listen. Health Minister Dr. Jane Ruther Cheng raised eyebrows when she said the ministry allocated 75 million shillings for nine districts, meaning that each district would take a paltry 8.3 million shillings. We had 75 million in our budget for nodding syndrome. And that 75 million... Order. 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 Is it really right or appropriate for the minister, for the whole minister, to stand up and tell us that they have arranged 75 million when actually people are dying? We are not going to approve any money. Any money. Until we approve that money. Anybody that tries to make this thing look small should have their brains checked. Because this matter to you may be small, but to those affected it is really a big issue. We we'll stop the debate now and uh, call on the uh, the club to build in this paper here on the paper or supplementary, we pass it and we see now where finance would say they have no money or where they have to go so that uh, we ask the finance to bring the money immediately. Deputy Speaker Jacob Olanya was forced to adjourn the House for ministers to harmonize positions. <laughs> And on return, Aringa South MP Alioni Odria further stirred the waters when he said Parliament approved money for nodding syndrome in the 2017-2018 financial year. A lot of money has been spent, a lot of money has been released in the name of nodding. You find 80% goes on administration. Financial year 2017-18, allocation for nodding was 4.5 billion. And out of that, so far, they have used 1.8 billion. That simply means we have a balance of 2.6 billion. Audit needs to be taken in the management of the money that has so far been taken to the areas where we have this problem. The government doesn't need supplementary. They, they can only be able to prove that they have spent over and above what was given to them, which in this case, they have not been able to prove. The second deputy prime minister and deputy leader of government business in parliament, General Moses Ali, then requested for another adjournment, which the deputy speaker reluctantly granted. We will be given time until tomorrow to, to produce the money, 1.3. How is adjourned tomorrow, 2 o'clock? <laughs>